Hello everybody, I am Elio, and let's continue playing Pokemon White. Well, I'm not too happy. You know why? Well, you know I said I wanted Drillba to be a high attacker? Well, just look at this. It got the timid nature, which lowers its attack. Well, at least its speed is uh, increased, so it'll be delivering fast hits to make up for it. Anyway, last part, we fought off Team Plasma and arrived here in Nakreen City. And in this part, we're going to be doing a little bit of exploring. First off here, there's this uh, girl here who will trade a Petilil for a Cottony. The trade is the other way around in Pokemon Black. It's more useful here in White, because I believe Petalil and its evolutions are better. Yeah, really. That's there if you want it. Uh, here is a store for X items, which can be useful if you like to use them. Yeah, I think I'll just get an X speed for the gym leader here. And uh, the one of the last things over here is the next is the house next door. This woman here will ask a question. Collect Pokemon, I'll help you. Which Pokemon did you choose? You don't have to be honest, but she'll give you an item which will increase the strength of the type you choose. Here's the thing though, I'm choosing Tepig because you can get Mystic Water, which powers up water moves late, uh, later in the game, and you'll get Miracle Seed, which powers up grass moves very soon. But you can't get Charcoal anywhere else, so if you want Charcoal, I really advise you get it here now. So that's that out of the way. Over here is one last thing we need to do. N. N just approached out of this museum here. I want to see things no one can see. The truth of Pokemon inside Pokeballs. The ideals of how trainers should be. And future where Pokemon have to become perfect. Do you feel the same? Uh, okay? I don't really quite get you. I'm just going with the flow. Anyway, in challenges to a battle to just prove we were telling the truth, I guess? Anyway. <laughs> His first Pokemon is a level 13 Fidel. I'm gonna send out my. my. Uh, Drillba, because it needs experience. Yeah, Fury Swipes doesn't look like it does much damage at first, but the damage does tally up. It just takes a while. Also, a uh, nice comparison for Drillba, it's a bit like Fampy in Generation 2, where it doesn't start very good, but it gets better, much better later on. And believe me, Drillba really does get powerful later on. Anyway, Drillba's a bit of got the bomb up here, so heal him. I think I'm able to draw him in a minute. Yeah, he keeps quick attacking like he is. That hit him. Yeah, I think we're going to draw. Just get a Fury Swipe. Fury Swipe, so. It's always free hits, jeez. This is a good tactic to utilize, by the way, switching out to share experience. It's especially useful for uh, training lower level Pokemon. <laughs> it's barely doing anything to wash you up. No, I guess it was because of the little Leah earlier. Anyway, that's that P-Dub down. Learning experience. Yay, Jubba's level 14. He's catching up. She's catching up, rather. Uh, I'm used to having mostly male Pokemon on my team. Anyway, let's send Drillba back out here. Though it's not going to be much use against the next Pokemon, not here. His next Pokemon is Temple. It's a new water type. Other than Oshawa, it's the first water type in the game, yeah. Unfor for unfortunately, uh, Drillva's not nowhere near going to be able to take it down by itself. Yeah, Bubble Beam. What have you seen Bubble Beam before Bubble? Yeah. Anyway, Oshawa can take this down with Tackle. Wah, Super Sonic! I hate confusion. Confusion, it's near enough a 50-50 chance that you're going to hit yourself upon trying to attack the opponent, which sucks. Come on. See, I hate confusion. 
and more often than not, as well as being a Pokemon Let's Play, uh, this is just gonna keep hitting itself, because, you know, Let's Play Bad Luck. Let's Play Curse. Fortunately, that King K took over it. Can't put the confusion. What I'm gonna do here is, against this next Pokemon, Timber, which is a fighting type, uh, I am going to start with Oshawa taking it down, so it'll have low HP, so uh, Drillbur can take it out quickly. Hit, huh? Anyway, Drillbur can handle this, just as long as it's fast enough, but the timid nature actually sped it up, so that's actually quite useful. Yes! Fast enough. And Timbers are naturally quite slow anyway. For having such raw attack power. Still look at experience and we beat N. Can't see in the future yet, the world is still to be unchanged. Whatever you say, dude. Right now my friends aren't strong enough to save all Pokemon. Maybe I can can't solve the equation that will change the world. I need power. Power enough to make anyone agree with me. Geez, power hungry free. Now I know what power I need. Reshiram. The legendary Pokemon that, along with the hero, created the Anova region. It's my turn to become that hero, and you and I will be friend be friends? Is he talking to me there or the Pokemon? Either way, it's certainly interesting, isn't it? I'm just gonna heal a Pokemon now. Now, moving on. There's a little side area here which I'm gonna show you. That that uh Eucordium uh whatever instrument that is. Up there, he plays it, and it alters the music. But here is an alternate, er uh, optional area, which you can use to train. First, you want to challenge this woman here, though. But you'll see why in a moment. Yeah, I think I'll show this battle, because she's just got one Pokemon, which is a Munna. Level 16, I believe? Yeah, I think so. Um, but its defense is pretty tough, and it's got a lot of moves we ain't seen yet, so... Let's show this. Just gonna keep using Fury types on it, really. Lucky Chant. That reduces critical hits. Just go for another Fury types here. Right, three times again. Huh. Psybeam. A rather powerful type of move. Again, we're seeing uh, Psybeam before Confusion. In prison, that uh, means that if I have any moves that Muna has, then I can't use them. And yawn, I hate yawn because it's basically a delayed sleep-inducing move. It's annoying to say the least. No, 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 no! Three hits, and now I'm asleep. Uh, let's see if I can hold up. Like, let's see if I can take him down. Ah, another Psy Beam. I'm not risking another Psy Beam. No, not me. I'm switching to Oshawa. Get out of here, Oshawa. I need you. Save your fellow comrade. Yeah, Psy Beam, that would have taken out. Yeah, it's doing quite a big, fair bit of damage to Oshawa, too. Fortunately, it has barely any HP left, so it goes down. Sweet. Oh my, you're very tough. Now, this is why you want to beat this nurse, because after the battle, and any time you talk to her afterwards, she will heal your Pokemon for free. It's rather a, a new and useful feature, if it, even if it does make the games a little bit easy. Either way, there's an either over here, which can heal PP, which you use during battles of moves. Let's move on. Our battles. I really need to put repels up. Uh, whatever. Let's, uh, I just let Drillba fight that battle because it needs experience. Let's fight this little girl here. Ha ah, hi, trader. Show me what kinds of Pokemon you've been trading. Well, rather random variety so far, I must say, actually. <laughs> anyway. Her first Pokemon is a Cottony, a new Pokemon which can only be found in a little while. Jeez! Again, we have 
Eh, that Cottony was using Mega Drain before we've seen Absorb. What is with these more powerful moves being introduced earlier? Anyway, uh, Drillbo leveled up and learned Metal Claw. And her second Pokemon is a Petalil, which you can also find later. Jeez! What a battle that was! Had to resort to using Herdia quite a bit. Good thing that this nurse is here. Anyway, let's just... Can I talk to you? Fine, let's just get this item first. Yay, a great ball I'm not going to be using! Let's fight this boy here. Hi, hi, trainer. That's what the other one said. Didn't that girl just say exactly the same thing? Ah, oh, whatever. He has just what the Homer! No! <laughs> oh! You just have one Pokemon. A uh, Rug and Roller. Which should be easy to take out with Bilba's new Metal Claw. Yeah, that was easy. Ah! Uh, seriously, I am really tempted to start a first step count here. Anyway, there's a youngster down here. I should start. Okay. No, no. I was just thinking about how many times I've said anyway as well. Jeez. And jeez. I keep saying an awful lot of things at the one of the time. Anyway, this seems his first Pokemon is a Timpole level 13. And I switched over to Oshawa, and Oshawa level up to level 16. Awesome. And he also has a Timpole. And shock! Another Timpole! Yeah, he didn't have quite an original team. But Drillbo leveled up, so I'm happy. Either way. My brother Ravi is brandishing into the air. Whatever. Anyway, let's just heal up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, moving on. Um, let's move past this double grass here and find a super potion. And if I'm not mistaken, I remember being up here. The yep, a tiny mushroom hidden in this small pool up here. Just a uh, nerd kind of trading item, I think. Anyway, here's an antidote useful for curing poison again. Don't know if I'll be using them, but whatever. These are special Pokemon I just caught. Okay, are they any strong? <laughs> well, he has a Venipede, which is a new Pokemon, which again, you'll have to find very shortly. And he also po has a Lillipup, level 14. Okay, moving on. So this is a so-called challenge rock that somebody mentioned. I think it was the nurse. Anyway, let's just heal up here. Healing up. No, <laughs> drill bear here. Let's challenge this battle girl here. Yeah, moving on. <laughs> oh my goodness, I have no idea what I'm saying. Well, she has a timber of her own. Level 16 is a fighting type and she's a battle girl, what do you expect? Okay, let's carry on. I think there's a hidden item here, but I'm not going to bother to check right now. And there's this battle guy here. You know what? This is the last fight of the video and... I am rather bored, so I may as well talk through this. He has a timber of his own, level 16 again, like the battle girl earlier. Let's see if uh, Drillba can take this thing down by itself. First, let's keep going. Critical hit. Why does it always seem that when I get a critical hit on the third one, it stops right there? It's ridiculous. Let's try another Fury Swipes. Keep going. Three hits again. Ugh. Focus energy. Ah, I don't want you hitting me right now. Don't hit me. I don't want a critical hitting me right now. I want drill, uh, drill but to get the experience. Five hits, but it's not enough. Rock throw. Seriously. And that was even a critical. Rock against ground. Not a good move, dude. You should have used something like low kick. 
Hey, well, Jorma's level 17 now! He's finally the strongest member of my party! Yay! Defeat Black Belt Kentaro. And with that, we've beat all the trainers in this area, and there's just one more item, which is this. A netball, another ball I'm not going to use. So, that about does it for this part, so now we've done some exploring. Join me next part, when we'll take on Nacreen Gym. See you guys then.